Welcome to how to sign our community agreement. Whether you are on Seesaw or Google Classroom, the process will be the same. If you're on Seesaw, it's really important to click the blue link in the instructions because that will take you to a Google slide. You cannot edit a Google slide from the Seesaw document. You have to click that blue link. If you're on Google Classroom, just click the shared link. When we sign our class agreement, obviously we can't share around the same class agreement with a pencil or pen, so we're going to sign it digitally. When you receive your class agreement, it'll either have all of the student names listed already if you are a Seesaw student, or if you are a 4th through 6th grade student on Google Classroom, you'll have to add your name. If your name is already there, one thing you can do is click it, so find your name. When you click your name, a blue box will appear. You can either drag your finger to highlight your whole name, or you can double click to highlight your whole name. If you need to change your name because you prefer a nickname, you can change it now. Make sure your nickname is actually an appropriate name to call you. When you've changed your name, go ahead and go to the font on the top. When you click font, you're going to see that there are a lot of fonts to choose from. You can choose any legible font that you want to sign your name. If you sign your name and it stacks differently, you can always stretch out the side to make it one piece again on one layer. If you like the way it looks, you can leave it. You can also change your name's color. Go ahead and double click or highlight the whole name and click the text color here. You can choose anything from the theme. Now when you're choosing a text color, consider the legibility or readability of your text. For example, if I was to choose maybe the orange text, it's going to be very difficult to read my signature. Last, you may go ahead and use this tool on the top, the little dongle, to rotate your name. You may also move your name if your name changes shape and covers someone else's name. Remember, we are committing to our community agreement, which means that the rules apply here. Be polite when you're working on this document because it is a shared document that everyone can access. You do not need to save anything because Google Slides automatically saves every change that you make. That also means that it saves a history of everything that you've typed. So if you type something inappropriate at any point, it's going to save that in its history. If I find that you're doing something inappropriate, we'll have a conversation at another time. Please make sure you're being respectful to others when signing our community agreement. When you're finished, simply close out of the Google slide and it will save. If your name does not appear on the Google slide and you need to add one, there is a simple way to do that. You're going to go ahead and click the text box up here. When you click the text box, you're just going to drag and click the text. You can type your name in the text box. Again, follow those same directions. You can highlight your whole name. You may pick a typeface that you enjoy. If you need to, you can increase the size a little bit, but we don't want any to feel left out. So make sure your name fits appropriately. And of course, you can change the color. If you would like, you can rotate and move it somewhere on the document so that it's not blocking anyone else. If you have difficulty signing your name, make sure you make a comment in Seesaw or Google Classroom so that I can help you. Otherwise, enjoy signing this community agreement and move on to your next task.